Okay, so we're going to practice a little bit more on creating force diagrams before we actually take our test. And the first thing that you will draw, as always, is the Earth. And remember, Earth is the interaction that we can't readily see, like we can't see it touching and pulling, but we see that things aren't floating into the Earth, so that part. Okay, and so an interaction diagram, we will start with Lilo. She has a direct interaction, or she has an interaction with the Earth that we call gravity. The surfboard also has an interaction with the Earth that we call gravity. And so now we know that Lilo is standing on top of the surfboard, and so we'll call that a normal force since it's pushing on each other. And we also know that the water, the surfboard is on the water, and it's not pulling on each other, rather it's just kind of pushing against each other. And so that would be um, a normal force. And so this would be the how the interaction diagram would look like for number one's extra practice. Now the force diagram, so we have um, just, if Lilo was our center, we see that there are two interactions. Here's one and here's two interactions happening with Lilo. So we are going to um, just undo that part. Okay. And uh, now we're going to draw our force diagram. So Lilo, we're going to use L, is our center. And she has a force of gravity. So force, the, feel, uh, the type is gravity. Our feeler is Lilo, and it's happening with the Earth. This is going to be her weight. We're going to go back here, and this is Lilo's weight. And weight is your force of gravity, okay? So she weighs 180 newtons. And since Lilo's going at a constant speed, that means it's a balanced force, our up arrow and our down arrow have to match. Now ask yourself, which way is um, the force of the surfboard and Lilo interacting with each other? Which direction is the surfboard pushing on Lilo? And since we see that she's not going down any further, she's staying up, it's an up, it's an upward force. So it is a force that is pushing or normal on Lilo done by the surfboard and it is happening at 180 newtons because these two arrows need to be balanced. All right, now for the surfboard, that might be a little bit different. The surfboard also has a force of gravity on the surfboard by the earth. And that is happening at 30 newtons. 30 newtons is the force of gravity or the weight. Okay, it's how much the earth is interacting with you and that's always just called weight. All right, now, what is happening to the surfboard? So Lilo is being pushed up by the surfboard, which we have here in the Lilo's force diagram. Now Lilo is pushing down on the surfboard, so she's pushing down onto the surfboard, which means that the surfboard is feeling a down force that is a pushing force from Lilo. Oh, sorry, that should be the feeler. So that should be S, and then from Lilo, which is happening at 180 newtons. We know it's at 180 newtons because it's partner. Now this is N, S, L. We have N, L, S. So it's the same feeler dealers and it's the same force type that's happening. That's Newton's third law pair. Now, this whole thing is still balanced because there is no acceleration. So we know that this arrow and this next arrow is going to add up to the top arrow, to the up arrow. Okay, and the up arrow is going to be a normal force with the water, 
a normal force on the surfboard by the water okay and so when we look at the surfboard when we look at the surfboard we see that there is an interaction with Lilo and the surfboard that's one with the earth and then with water so we know to expect to find one two and three interactions okay so now the interaction between the surfboard and the water is going to happen at 180 newtons plus 30 newtons which is going to be let's see 210 newtons and that is it for number one and make sure that you have um, the correct notations the correct answers you have that the Newton's third law pair okay so things to remember um, one force type okay then the feeler then the dealer next thing to remember is direction okay ask yourself in what direction is the feeler acting oh sorry not the feeler in what direction is the dealer acting on feeler okay and the third part which is also easy to forget is Newton's third law pairs okay so same type and same feeler dealer but the order is different opposite directions and equal and that's it for this one.